uh, a Cobra Kai strict appointment. Uh, do not be early. They were like, oh, you're here right on time. I'm like, 30 minutes before my appointment, but whatever. you guys will learn is uh, mostly a um, uh, like a Walmart uh, 3PL third party logistic place Sand Creek Logistics Services tandems are slid on both those trucks let's flip around and stay out of that way trail man that's what that water tower says Everybody seems to be uh, sliding their tandems, so I'm gonna go ahead and release mine because it looks like they come out and check your truck so I can be ahead of the game. One of them popped. Uh, just three more to go. Let's go get and talk to some people. She was pretty adamant that I follow these uh, instructions, so we will follow these instructions to a T. But um, they're taking me early, uh, two and a half hours early, which is real nice. And she said, go to 314 and come back in here. And as you heard earlier, it sounds like uh, there's not a lot of people working here, so hopefully they can get it loaded quickly. Uh, but maybe that was for something else, but it sounded like there's only the supervisors on the forklift. So we will tease and tease that, uh, we can get loaded in a timely manner, but it doesn't really matter. We got plenty of clock and we'll just try to make it up there tonight as far as we can get into Virginia because we don't deliver till three again, three o'clock tomorrow. And let's slide these tandems to the back. And uh, they say your trailer has to be stuck clean. And mine should be because I cleaned it out two trips ago. Let's see. Oh yeah, you guys can't see that, but my eyes are breaking it up. All right, let's slide these tandems. Back up the trailer, back it up, Terry, to release those tandems. Just kind of rock it a little bit sometimes to get those pins out. And then uh, pull it forward nice and slowly. Don't pull it too quickly. And damage it over time. That tandem has a plate in the back that stops it from going off out of the back of the trailer. And you don't want to keep beating that up too much. There we go. We are to the end. Let's go find 314. Well then, 
Took him a, a little bit of time, about four hours. So maybe uh, there was only the supervisor working, but it's cold out here. It's 33 degrees now. I know, not cold as some of the places in the world, but cold enough here. And I've lost another mask, so where are this one I got? Kind of reminds me of the Karate Kid, I guess. Karate Kid. Let's see what we got back here. Oh, it's a little windy. Oh yeah, just a bottle of water. That's all. It's like flavored bottle of water. We shall see. Let's get in there. Ah, uh, oh, there you go. And uh, slide our tandems. Get our bills. Good morning, Virginia. Just south of Richmond this morning. And we're gonna get some fuel in this motor. Oh, geez, it's cold. Um, yeah, we stopped, we got here about 6 a.m. You can see on the map, traffic was getting pretty bad through Richmond for rush hour morning, so we just stopped down here, right by Walmart. There's a tiny little truck stop over there. But um, just a good place to park, easy off, easy on. And you can also park in Walmart if there's not any parking, but there was parking at 6 a.m. So uh, let's uh, listen to T-Dubs here for our tablet giveaway for this month. We have about a $450 tablet uh, that will be given away on Saturday at 9 p.m. on our live feed. So if you want to check that out, here she is to tell you about it. And I'm going to get some fuel and air into these cylinders. This month's giveaway is going to be a tablet, a 128 gigabyte eighth generation iPad or an S6 Android tablet, or you can just take the $400 cash. The way to enter is you're going to see a little drop down tab right here and it's going to pull down the description. In the description, there's going to be a link to our Gleam giveaway. Go ahead and enter that way. And on February 13th, when the giveaway entries end, we're gonna go live at nine on Saturday night, like we always do. And at 9.30, we're gonna pick a winner. But we're doing it different again this month. This month, we're gonna have five key numbers hidden throughout the duration of this giveaway. So you must be live in the chat room, be chosen as the winner, and have the five numbers. What will happen is we will call a winner. You will have five minutes to respond to my email address, justtruckinwife at gmail.com, with the five numbers. And that's how you win. Good luck. Also, check out justchuckin.shop. We got in our new 30 ounce tumblers for hot or cold. They're beautiful and I love mine. It's over there with my coffee machine. And we have our new Carhartt, upside down, sorry. Our new Carhartt masks. They come in a pack of three. Thanks so much and good luck. Oh, there we go. We probably should have slept with the uh, good old APU on last night. It is pretty frigid in here. We'll let that oil heat up and be on our way. Maybe we'll go run over to Walmart. We need a couple extra things in here. Some uh, Nutri-Grain bars and a little more Diet Coke. And we're good on water, though. Let's get some air in that trailer. All right. And check out Just Trucking Dot Shop, of course. Oh, old body style Chevy giveaway coming up in December. Let's get warm. So I'm sticking with the Cobra Kai, I guess. I can't find my other mask. I lost it last night, the, the gray one that just goes over real quick. And my Just Trucking one, I dropped it and I forgot to uh, bring it in for uh, T-Dubs to wash. And I have uh, all the other ones are like through my personal vehicle. So Cobra Kai it is. Let's get in here. And uh, thanks for checking out Just Trucking.shop where you can get one of these cool hoodies, one of these cool beanies. And maybe we'll do the Cobra Kai there, who knows? But right now, we do Wally World. Get some refreshments. All the wait stations last night and early in the morning were all closed. This one, I don't think I've ever seen this one. side over there southbound um, if you do have to bring your papers and get a little random check you have to go under a little tunnel I've never gone through it but 
I imagine one day I will. So North Carolina is the last uh, wait in motion coming up here. So like I always say, come up here, make a complete stop, and then creep on to the scale, and don't stop quickly. It'll mess up their scale if you stop quickly. That is why. So we'll creep on here in third gear. Get the brakes working, and then we're on. Green light. Let's find second gear. Wave to the people inside the window. Keep going. And check out my little uh, stalactites I got last night. It's pretty cold. I guess you call them icicles, but we'll go with the cave term, minerals term. All right, let's get past Richmond, up to our drop. Always know when you're getting into Richmond, when you see the giant uh, marble tower, I would say it is. I don't even know if it serves a purpose, if it has a microwave capability or a cell phone tower, but it is definitely uh, noticeable. I don't know if that's Marble, North America. Anybody in the comments, let me know about that. What is that? Is that where they produce? I know uh, way back in the day, our uh, war with Britain over our independence started because of tobacco. So it makes sense that we're kind of in the Richmond Port area. This is where it all began. Let me know what you know. Cool little foggy silhouette of downtown Richmond come through it. It's not very long. Going over the river right now. Probably a little cold down there. It's all over the banks. Still some ducks swimming. We are inside of 60 miles to our drop. Three o'clock drop. We'll be there about an hour and a half early. The reviews are not great, so not expecting to get something right away, but back on the truck. And it's Friday, and it's going to be late, so might have to deadhead back down to Carolinas, or we're kind of by my brother, might go see him tonight. I don't know. We'll see where the world takes us, because right now it is bad for loads. I think with all the severe weather going on some places, a lot of trucks are just staying put or staying down in the. Uh, climates I don't know when it gets like this every winter if you're new to coming out to CDL school or if you don't have anything to do with trucking uh, that's how it is every year January February March the slowest part of the year picks back up in the spring and summer goes into the holidays and it starts all over again so that's, that's crazy over there right now let's get through Richmond Some John Deere's in the snow up there. Reminds me of going snowboarding up in uh, Lake Tahoe area when I was in high school. It was so much fun, what a blast. But uh, the trees always look like this, overcast. I went to North Star, I went to Heavenly, uh, I went to Sierra at Tahoe. Well, I think I went to one more, but I can't remember the name. But beautiful up there if you ever get a chance to go uh, snowboarding up in Tahoe. And if you go to the Heavenly side, uh, it's right on the border of Nevada. There's a couple casinos there, pretty fun. They have a little blackjack and a stand casino. Uh, Teasing P's though for Sonny Bono, that's where he passed away, Cher's husband back in the day, right there in Heavenly. And it really is Heavenly. You get to the top of the main lift, you turn around, you can see the whole lake and all the snow. It just really looks like heaven, Heavenly. All right, well, I thought I'd bring you some snow shots because typically I'm in Florida or down in the south. We don't see this white stuff much. I thought I'd just bring you a little bit more. It just gets prettier and prettier. I love it when it's on the trees. I don't like when Subarus jump in front of me, but hey, whatever. There are actually pretty rare cars there. A Subaru Baja, it's a turbo Boxster motor. A Boxster motor means uh, cylinders are sideways. They're parallel to the ground. And they're, uh, 
Power Stroke, so kind of cool car. It's a little hard to work on, but very cool. I just wanted to show you guys some more snow and a Subaru Baja. I showed up when I did. It's about 1.48, uh, almost two o'clock. And they said, I don't want to have to make you make this U-turn right here and then come back in 30 minutes, but they won't let you check in till 2.30, 30 minutes prior to your appointment. So if you ever have uh, McLean on your break on, make sure you're right on time, half an hour before, because uh, they don't mess around. Uh, no early at all, so. I was hoping I was going to show up even earlier than this and show up like at noon, but we've just been waiting, so I'm glad I got some more sleep. And they said, all the way down, take a left, and there'll be a stop sign. And then wait there on the right top, right hand side for 40 minutes and then go check in. Very efficient. I love it. All right, now all the way down. Doesn't look like I can make it. Looks like I could turn left here. No, nah, it's all cars. See if it opens up down here on the left. Well, right now we're just south of uh, Washington, D.C., more north of Richmond than we are south of Washington, D.C., so. Right here on the seaboard. All right. I'm just thinking it opens up behind this truck, which it should. You see that big yellow thing up there, guys? That uh, scrapes the snow off the top of the trailers. You see those a lot up here in the snowy parts. All right, yeah, we can turn left. Sweet. Send them all the 
way down the stop sign and then wait there. Uh, I see a stop sign right there. Okay, okay. minutes is up and we can go check in now so let's go get in there cold out here so they said go to door 91 and i've been watching a bunch of people walk in and out between the red truck and the white truck so i'm betting that's where it's at looks like we have a uh, i was watched around the surrounding areas looks like we have like a Mannheim car auction over there i used to go there when i was in arizona buy a bunch of auction cars for a while when I worked for a dealership for about six months. But I figured it wasn't for me, so I, I didn't keep doing it. It wasn't enough margin in the cars, a lot of stuff wrong with them. Auction has a lot of problem cars, so you might think it's a good idea. Sometimes it's better to stay away. Well, let's go check in. Uh, a Cobra Kai strict appointment. Uh, do not be early. They were like, oh, you're here right on time. I'm like, 30 minutes before my appointment, but whatever. So they said, stay parked over here. They took my phone number, and they said, give me a call. Let's hope it's in the next 30 minutes. So now in the daytime, let's see what we got. Sparkling lime water. Okay. I like it. What's up, KW? I think we might be a while because it's three o'clock now and there's four trucks behind me and another one that I came down back up back around and this is what is going on in front of me oh yeah uh, a little bit busy here today maybe that's why they're so strict on their appointments and not one of those trucks that's in there has come out so we shall see and it is Capstone Logistics. Anybody that's been in the game knows that name. If you're new to coming in the game, it is a lumber service. They're hired a uh, third party to unload the trucks. The motivation's not very high. Um, and it's a little bit of a hassle to pay them sometimes. But they're getting better with the digitizing of it. But uh, sometimes they still want these things called comm checks. Look up one of my older videos if you want to see some of that. Well, this guy, super nice dude, just asked me if this is a one-way. But I don't think it is. I think he's, uh oh, he's got some product left over too. What's he got? 24 7 life. I don't know what that is. Just hope you don't hit nobody else. But I do believe you could have got out that way. That's what I told him, but he's already this way, so we'll see. Yeah. Oh, he's backing up. Oh, yeah. So, when they leave packages like that in the back of your truck, uh, the boxes were damaged or something, so he gets to keep those. But it looks like 24 7 life might be feminine products, so I don't know if he needs them. But now he's gonna have a good time turn around. It's tight! It's a one way. That's a one way, okay. <laughs> nice guy. He's like, it's a one way though. <laughs> we said he was here since 11 o'clock and it is 3.25 now, so. Could be a long unload. When you guys see Capstone Logistics, man, you're in for the long haul. No sense of urgency. This poor guy's been trying to get out for about two minutes. Looks like uh, he might not have the angle on the front of another truck, but these are actually McLean guys, so. This place is, uh, I guess, very busy. I don't know if it's unorganized or very busy or a little bit of both. Let's see if we can make it now. In the front of that other truck sitting right there. Yeah. Maybe he'll have the angle there. I should let him get the back of that trailer around. Let's see, we're gonna be a close call. I think he's got it. Oh yeah, there you go.
So I walked back in there and uh, just checked because I've been getting passed by every truck that was behind me, also with water. So go inside there. Still two more trucks behind me now. Uh, but three of them already went into their door. So sometimes they write your phone number down wrong because there's a plexiglass piece in front of you. It's loud in there. So I went in there just to check and make sure you have my right phone number. And he said, um, as soon as they pull the trailer out of 83, it's not a truck, uh, like a carrier, it's already attached, just a trailer by itself. I walked over there, it's a reefer unit with like the side doors. So I guess the yard jockey has to come and uh, pull that one out. That guy up there is backing in right next to it, 83. Once they pulled that trailer out, they said I can go in there. So I said, okay, just wanna make sure you had the right phone number. I said, yeah, yeah, we're just real busy. I said, I can see that. Real busy. All right, let's hope that they get that thing out of there sooner than later, because it's already 3.30. So this bobtail just came in here, and I am praying that he's pulling out that reefer. Because that black truck pulled in there. If he's pulling out 83, then that's where we go. But then I got that other guy over there. I don't know where he's going into. Because I'll need a little bit of that space to get my truck turned around. I think that's where he's going. He's rolling the other side. Hopefully he's hooking up that trailer. And I didn't get your name, man, but one of these guys right here in this truck, uh, he's like, hey, man, you're from YouTube. I said, yeah, dude. I rock the YouTube, man. I make some videos for everybody else coming out here to kind of know what to expect. And he said, hey, well, expect a good two or three, four hours from this place. I said, oh, man. Now that's what it's looking like already. All right, T's and P's, that guy's pulling out that trailer. And we get into door 83. kind of where I want to be so I can make this turn right here but if I keep coming left a bit I should be able to clear uh, if he wasn't there it would have been fine but let's see if we can still make this might have to do some maneuvering um but yeah these people actually took a while to get into a door once I was in a door I was unloaded in 20 minutes and then they came out no lumper fee um nothing like that so we're good do you look in the back doors no you're okay. good man is that it yeah. Thank you, man. Have a good one. Take care. Nice guys. So I was feeling doomsday was coming for a good six hour unload. All right, let's make this. Let's not hit these. They even put little cones out here. So I'm going to go wide left. Just barely missed that pole. And yeah, we're good. We got about two and a half feet. But yeah, and I'm out of here before the two hours. So if you're new to trucking, after two hours of your appointment, if you're there on time, you start getting detention, which is typically. $40 an hour, uh, Uber Freight used to be 75, then they joined the $40 an hour club like everybody else. These trees are super pretty, but uh, yeah, so we're out of here at 340. Um, that's not how sorry, 4, 440, 435. So yeah, an hour and uh, 35 minutes after our appointment, we're gone. I was not expecting that, so pleasantly surprised. McLean, and he even says, like, I'm sorry for the wait, man. I'm like, hey, you got me out of here before two hours. That's all I can ask for. Now, uh, 
probably go see brother. I got about just under two hours left of the clock and he lives about an hour and a half from here. So we should be able to make that and then look for maybe something to pick it up tomorrow. Might get a beer load or something. Uh, there's an Anheuser-Busch right by Busch Garden truck in my brother's house. And typically they got some stuff on Saturday and Sunday. But tease and peace for me that I get something. God bless you. And uh, let me get over there to, to brother's house in the snow. Probably about the last bit of light we're going to have for tonight. We are about 50 miles from my brother. He hasn't responded to my text yet. Don't know if he's going to be there or not, but it's a couple loads for tomorrow for this um, Anheuser Push out here and a couple around Norfolk and Chesapeake. So, see if we get something and see if my brother's uh, not going to a basketball game or something. Who knows what's going on around there? He's got a busy life. He's got twin boys and a almost a year old daughter so see what's going on but for me i'm gonna get set up somewhere probably at walmart again right by my brothers get some grub and uh close this video out so let's get over there but i wanted to show you this last bit of snow during the day Look who it is. It's been a long time since I've seen you. Yeah. What's going on, man? Thanks for picking me up. And we're gonna cut it out on that, guys. We're out of here. Hang some time with brother. Uh, see you tomorrow. God bless you.